All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started, please. So let's check this out. Put it back up. Hey, guys, for those of you guys that haven't been here yet, uh, for my guys, really quick, this is a quick view of the school here. Miss Sonia, uh, Miss uh, Anna, guys. So we're at the Avenge BJJ School, guys, here off of 8th and 25 in Denver, guys. So anyway, we're going to be doing the class today from this location. So let's go ahead and get bowed in, and we're going to do uh, just kind of a brisk uh, warm-up, and then we'll, uh, we'll move from there, guys. So feet together, hands at your side, and bow. Good. Excellent, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the timer really quick. We're going to do everything on 30-second intervals, guys. So we're going to start with jogging in the place. Oh guys, jogging, jogging, jogging. And again, we're just warming up so you don't have to go crazy fast or anything. Just jog it out, jog it out. Hi, Kaden. There you go, good, good, good. You got about 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds and then we're gonna go to high knees. Two, one, and high knees. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. There you go. Try to make sure your tummy is tight, leaning slightly forward, knees coming at least as high as your belt if you can. There you go. Good job. Keep going. Got about 16 seconds, guys. Keep going. Now, if you start to get tired or if it's been a little while since you've worked out, you can also do high steps, right? Just do them quick, right? Just do them quick. Keep working, you got about three seconds. You're gonna go to heels to your bottom. Let's go guys, heels to your bottom. There you go, nice. So if I'm turning sideways, I'm just bringing my heels this way. There you go, nice. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Good, eight seconds guys. On the next buzzer, we're just going to shuffle four times one direction, four times the other. So one, two, three, four, other way. One, two, three, four. Nice and simple. Keep going, guys. Looks good. Keep it up. You got about eight seconds. Then you're going to turn and face the opposite direction for 30 more seconds. Two, one, and turn. Face the other way. <laughs> 18 seconds, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Didn't they find the honor super hard? Like, oh, hard, 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 hard. Yeah. <laughs> jumping jacks, guys. Easy jumping jacks. Woo. Nothing hard. There you go. You're just going to do like this, guys, for 30 seconds. In the next 30 seconds, we're going to go all the way. But right now, just right here, just nice and easy. Very relaxed. We got about half and half participation now from most schools. This is good. About half the students are from this school. That's good. Three, two, one, full jumping jacks. All the way up now. All the way up. There you go. Good job, guys. Keep it going. Keep working, guys. Keep working. Looks good. 15 seconds, guys. We got about eight seconds, guys. Then we're going to go to sit out. I'm going to zoom in on coach so you guys can see it in case you've not seen these before. Good. Go ahead and go to your knees and elbows, guys. Nice job. Just like that, guys. Try to do just what coach is doing. He's doing the slightly more advanced version off his elbows. He's doing great. If you can do like him, you're doing awesome. Good job, guys. You got about three seconds, and then we're gonna be standing up with good posture. There you go, good. So you can just stand up just on your knees, coach, just stand up on your knees. Yep, there you go. So watch, guys, he's just gonna stand all the way up. 
Good. Yep. Nice and simple. Good job. Good. This is called standing up with good posture, guys. This is very good. We're going to go to rolling up over the leg on the next one. It's going to be about two seconds away. Go ahead and have a seat, guys. Check it out. Coach is going to tuck one of his legs, and he's going to roll all the way up. He sits back down to butterfly guard and then does the same thing on the other side. Keep going, guys. we got 20 seconds. There it is. Nice. He's just tucking a leg and rolling up. Tucking a leg and then rolling up. There it is, good, nice. Try to do as many good ones as you can. You have eight seconds left. And then we're gonna go to our back falls, standing up in base. Three, two, one, go. Back falls, guys. Nice, and stand up in a good base. There it is. Nice job, guys. I think Coach Maxim is going to be a movie star one day. He knows how to read the camera. This is good. Eight seconds, guys. It's very nice, very nice. You guys will be able to say you knew him when he was just doing jujitsu. All right, guys. Side falls. Very basic. Here we go, guys. Right side, left side. There you go. Left side, right side. Simple. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Try not to accidentally hit your partners. <laughs> Keep going, you got about 12 seconds, guys, 12 seconds. Five seconds, we're gonna go to stepping over to replace base. I'll be zooming in on Coach again so you can see his feet. All right, check this out, guys. Coach is gonna start on his back, he's gonna start stepping over, just on your back, Coach. There you go, good, so he just steps across, yep. Look, he goes from shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Nice and simple, look at his feet, guys. We're gonna be here for about, I don't know, 40 seconds. So go ahead and get started if you haven't already. Nice. Good job, guys. We got another 32 seconds. If you can go a little bit quicker, go a little bit quicker. Let's go, guys. Caden, you're doing the wrong one, Caden. Good, 16 seconds guys, then we're gonna go straight to hip bridges. You're gonna do hip bridges on the next 10 seconds. Let's get ready, on the buzzer. Good, coach, you turn sideways so they can see you good. Here we go guys, hip bridges. Nice, as many good ones as you can. Try to make sure your hips go nice and high, just like coaches. There it is. Good work, guys. Good work. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Eight seconds left. Eight seconds left. Good. Shrimping, guys. Just the stationary shrimps. You're going to shrimp out and then right back to where you started. We're going to be here for about a minute. Let's go, guys. I'm zooming in on coach again so you can see. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. You got 35 seconds left. Good, good, another 30 seconds, guys. Push, push, push. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Guys, let's get 20 good push-ups and then grab some water, guys. Uh, 
right, guys, when you're done with your push-ups, grab some water and then come back into the camera so we know that you're ready to go. This is good. They got uh, they got mats. The kids. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny's kids. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so a couple things really quick as we get going uh, today. Oh, actually, let me turn off this uh, timer really fast, guys, so it's not bugging us. So a couple things, guys, really quick. We're going to pick up today. Um, actually, let's back up a little bit so you guys can see this. So we're going to pick up today, guys. We've been working with the kids' modules uh, and some curriculum. Uh, we've been focusing on a couple of different things, right, but this is going to be good for adults or in kids. Uh, we were looking at how to get to – a, um, a good position, right, specifically the Kimura position, and we looked at that a lot in the last class. One move that we didn't get to, guys, though, was the arm bar that comes off the Kimura. Every now and then, guys, you, uh, you run into a guy or a gal, and you can't break their grip, right? And uh, I remember one tournament I was in, I went up against this guy who was in the absolute division, right, so there was no weight category. I think I was a blue belt at the time. And uh, I went up against this guy, and I got to be honest with you, he was the strongest guy I think I've ever, ever competed against. He was a, he was a model by profession, and so he, he spent his whole day, like, working out and making sure he was in shape. Holy smokes, guys, I could not break his grip, right? So this next move I'm going to show you is going to be really, really helpful for those uh, guys that you can't sometimes um, beat. So let me switch the screen to a bigger screen so you guys can see better, and then um, – Let's see here. We'll explain the rest of the technique. So check this out, guys. So we're going to pick up where we left off uh, the other day. And so if you didn't see the technique the other day, no worries. We'll come back and we'll review it. So we're going to start right now where I have coach kind of on his side right here. I've got him in a position right where he's holding onto his belt. Right, we'll turn your body this way, coach, so they can see a little bit better. Right, and I'm in this kind of a position. Usually, my knee is down, my other leg is up, and I'm here in this kind of position. But I can't break his grip. Right, if I find myself in this position, guys, where I can't break his grip, a lot of times what you can do is you can lean over this direction. So you're going to step over and inside of his hand. Once you do that, you can turn now and you can sit. Now, if coach, go ahead and hold on to your belt. If if coach holds on to the belt, right, then what we've got is we still have this situation, right? I still have this arm kind of in this position. To break the grip, guys, one thing that I want to make sure to do is put his elbow on my chest. I'm going to put his elbow on my chest. I'm going to start to look away. Hold on nice and tight, coach. There you go, good. So when he starts to look, boom, I just come this way. Now, as soon as it pops off, guys, you can hold this grip here. I like to change my hand over, squeeze my knees, and then get ready to finish the arm bar. Now, again, the big piece, we're going to turn his body so you can see it from a slightly different angle. The big piece is the step over, guys, right? Because I wanted to break his grip, right? I couldn't do it. I wanted to go for the Kimura, but I couldn't do it. So I'm leaning over towards his tummy, right? Now, look, I step over in between. Now that I'm here, I can sit, I can rotate, and I come here. Now, the better you get, yes. When your bottom lands, you want to use that momentum to just pop, take it off with you, and then close and finish, right? So, again, the idea, guys, for those of you, if you weren't here at the last class, no worries. I just want you to start from that Kimura position, and then what we'll do is we'll fix it from there. But really quick, let me turn on the uh, speakers just to make sure, let's see here, that everybody can ask a question. Are we good, guys, on these techniques? Do we have any questions at all? No. Everybody pretty good? All right, excellent. So just do me a favor. Remember, your partner right now is going to be on the ground. They're just going to be holding on to the belt like this. Does that make sense? Now, by the way, if you don't have a gi, right, how do they usually lock up? Let me show you. I'm going to show you this. This is kind of important. Let me switch this over because in no gi, people can still defend, right? And it's a slightly different defense. But if, you, but if you've never seen it, it kind of looks weird. So check this out. So... If there wasn't a gi here, guys, 
And let's say this is the arm that they're attacking. Guys will do this. They'll hook their leg like this over the top like this. That's what makes it tight, right? So if coach is on top of me and he's about to try to get this, if I was in no gi right now, you can go ahead and put your knee down. This is what I would do, like this and like this. This is what makes it hard for him to pull out, right? I'm just holding on to my own leg and I'm crisscrossing to make it tough. Coach would still lean to his left, step right on the inside. Yes, sit back, right? And then pop the grip. Yes, boom, all the way over, and then break the arm. So it's a slightly different hold. So for those of you guys that are doing the class today, no gi, that's how I want you to hold onto your legs so your partner can get a good rep. All right, are we good guys? So I, when I put my, when I put my legs, when I have them in the position, uh -huh. I'm here and here is my leg still up? My leg is still up or am I down? So go ahead and switch. So the one, the, the, the knee that's in the front is going to be down. The knee that's in the back will be elevated. Yes. Okay. And when I lean, I lean forward. And then Correct. I Correct. So you're going to, you're going to lean slightly forward so that you can actually step. It's kind of a interesting situation because can you see my body right here? So if you can envision this, his leg, he's going to step the leg that was on my back. And he's going to bring it right in between my arm and my body. That's what creates the arm bar. So I need to get in between his arms. Yeah, so switch, so switch your two legs really quick. Yes, because you're going to be, yes. Now take the Kimura grip. You're going to use the left leg right now that's on the back. That's the one that's going to slide in front of the tummy and, in front, and between the arm to create the move. So, so lean like towards that. me. Lean towards me right now. Yes, use your back leg. Okay. Yes. Slide it in and then turn. Yes, beautiful. Good. Now, four, five hundred more repetitions. It's going to look amazing. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. Anyway, let's go, guys. One, two, three. Let's go, guys. Five minutes. Let's go. Work, guys. Count the tips, Maria. <laughs> so, laying on their side. There's a blue belt. I should ask who. Seconds. Keep beating your reps. Oh, Dad, your phone just died. Oh. Yeah, Mohammed looked pretty good when he did that one. I think the phone's in here. Kate's not doing bad, but I'm not sure where he's getting started. Hey, Caden, I'm not 100% sure what you're doing, buddy. Can, can, you, can you do that again? Let me see this again. All right, guys, time for just a second. We, we need to back up a little bit because some of our kids are, are lost, kind of like last year's Easter egg, straight up lost, right? So check this out. Um, let's back up a little bit, right? So how did we get to the position? That's going to be the big thing. Hold on. Let me put everybody on mute really quick, guys, just so that we can all hear um, really well. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how this all kind of got started, how we ended up here, right? So the idea is, is that we got to a... Uh, arm bar to me, a Kimura style position. Now I'm going to show you the easy version, right? I've shown the adult version and I'm going to show the kid version now. 
A lot of times what happens when I'm in this position and coach is framing on my hip and framing on my neck, a lot of times what we can do is we can take this back hand, right? I start to put pressure. When he pushes a little bit on my neck, I take this hand, I put it on the bicep, and look, I just flare the arm to get the elbow down. I slide the hand to the ground. Now, to bend the arm, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my hand away from his neck, I'm gonna put my head on the ground, and I'm gonna use my head to help me bend his arm in case he's stronger than me. Boom. Once I have his hand bent, guys, his shoulder comes up a little bit. Now, coach is a little bit tight, so his shoulder really came up, right? So once I'm here, I lift my head, I go under that space that I just created, you see? And now I connect my hands. The cool thing is, is now I can literally just push off the ground. Check this out. I push off and I bring him with me. This is how I got here. Now I just step over the head and now here's where we're at. See my tummy? Excuse me, my knee is on his tummy right now. My other leg is here. Now, because I can't break this grip, that's why I lean this way. That's why I step right here and then I spin. Right? So that's what we're trying to do, okay? So let me show it one more time, guys, so you guys have it. I'll do it from a different angle this time. So, yes, coach, let's go, let's go, let's go, So, same idea. Coach is framing on me, right? So he's here. I apply pressure, he applies pressure back. I put my hand on his bicep, flare the elbow, push it down, pin the wrist. I use my hand to bend it. Now, you see the space right here? The hand that was under the head goes under. I make my grips. I adjust my balance. I push, and I pull coach to me. Now he's on his side. The leg that is by his head straightens out, and I go over. But now coach has a hold of his belt. I can't break the grip. So I just lean, and then I step. Now I turn, I break the grip, and I take the arm bar. So I wanted to show that really quick, guys, because it looked like some of us were having trouble. Does that make more sense on how we got there, guys? Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and add that little piece because as I was watching Sonia and Caden, I, I, Caden was a little confused. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right. So let's start from that beginning, grab the bell, and then let's go. All right, guys. One, two, three. We got about six minutes, guys. Let's go. Come on, and get this. <laughs> this. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Right, can I see you guys do it right here? Excellent. Yes, now switch your knees right here. No. Ash. Ash? Is your, yes, Ash, will you switch your knees for me, please? Your, yeah, that one's down, the other one's up. Perfect, yes. Now lean to your right, to your right. Yes, now step, step your left leg. Yes, yes, beautiful. Sit. Yes. Good. <laughs> Just, just be nice. Just be nice. <laughs> 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 that was good, guys. That was very good. All right. Looks like Caden did better now. Looks like Caden's better position now. Let's see, Caden. Good, Caden. Make more sense, buddy. Okay. Good. I'm gonna go over to. I'm gonna go over to the girls. There's Mighty. Mighty, get your knees back on the other side, baby. Good. Now pull her up to you. Pull her to you. Yes. Good. Now step over her head. Perfect. That same leg is gonna go. Oh, other leg. That same leg keeps doing the work. Keep turning. Keep stepping. Keep turning. Keep turning. Sigue, Mighty, sigue, sigue, voltea, voltea. 
Eso, sigue, sigue. Tienes que mirar a la cámara. Voltea hasta que puedes mirar la cámara. Eso, sigue volteando. Now, step your, step your leg right between that hole, right there, between her arm and her body. Other leg, other leg. Get her, she feed her up. Yes! Now keep turning, keep turning and sit, sit behind your sister. No, other way, Mighty, other way. Yes, keep turning, keep turning. Sit behind your sister, sit behind her. Yeah! Very good. Heather, your turn, Heather. Yes, beautiful Heather. Very good. Very good. All right, I'm going to go over to the boys now. I need you to move your face out of the way, I hear. Nice, good job. Step over his head, Mohammed. Beautiful. Use that same leg. Use that same leg. And keep stepping. Yep, keep stepping with that same leg. Left leg over the body. Left leg over his body, and so you can finish the arm bar, Mohammed. Left leg. Yes. Finish the arm bar from there. Good. All right, switch. East side, please. Show me yours. Beautiful, Isaac. Beautiful. Nice. This kid's good. Nice. Very nice, kiddo. Very, very nice. Good. Yes, there you go. Have help, brother. <laughs> Very good. Now we're going to take this arm, this arm, and push it. And now your head. My head is in my hand. Yeah, no, head. And then you bend it. No, 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 bend it. This. This. And put your other hand over here. No, the other way, the other way. Like that, and hold your wrist. Hold your wrist. No, no, no. This hand still here, but this hand. No, no. This, on the top of it. Yes, yes good job, Mohammed. Way to help your brother. Very nice. Pull back. Yep. Yep. Pull, Pull his in. elbow to your chest. Very good. Now, step over his head, son. Step over his head. Step over his head. Yep. Keep spinning. Keep spinning. And finish the arm bar. Not bad, kiddo. Good job. Yeah. Mohammed, thank you for helping your brother. That was very kind of you. Welcome. All right, guys. I'm going to take everybody back to gallery view for a second. So really quick, um, Anna and Cole, I didn't see you guys. Would you guys uh, show me next, please? I want to see you guys do the video or do the, the move, okay? Go ahead and show me the move, please. Good. Step over the head, sweetheart. Yes, perfect, perfect. Good. You're strong enough to rip it out anyway. That was good. Let me see Cole do it. Good. Step over her head. Yes, go Cole, go Cole, that looks good, buddy. <laughs> all right, not bad, not bad at all, guys. All right, I'm gonna take everybody back to gallery view for just a second. Let me unmute everybody. All right, guys, so to this point, what we've looked at is just a little bit of a review, right? So we, we're in a side control position, right? Now, when do we know how to go to the next move? That's gonna be the big question, right? And so this is what I want to do and make sure that you guys understand this, right? Because a lot of times when um, I go to this or I try to explain this to people, this is where they have the biggest confusion, right? It's like, coach, that's all good and well, but when the heck do I know to go to it? I have to wear my partner out first, right? And so I'm going to show you guys something 
I'm gonna show you first without a partner, and then I'm gonna show you with the partner so you can see what I'm actually doing, right? So, Professor Kyle, right, is not a fan of what we call the thousand kilo hold. That's where you hold one, the head, one arm's under the head, and one arm is under the far arm. Mainly because he feels like you're wasting both of your grips when you don't need to, right? You can use pressure from the side to get the same result and you're not wasting your grip strength, right? But what you're gonna see is you're gonna see one of my knees by his shoulder, one of my knees by his head. This arm is gonna go under the head like you guys are used to and I'm gonna grab with my palm up on his armpit. This other arm is just gonna go here. My elbow is gonna be really close to his hip. So what my partner is gonna do is he's gonna do just a regular shrimp. He's just gonna move out. When my partner moves away from me, this is the only arm that follows in first. And then what I do is I lift my arm and I get close to him again. And then I fix my arm. He does it again, my arm follows. Now, why do we do that? We do that because if coach's arm is following me or my arm is following coach and there's no space for my leg, then I can't recover guard, guys. And that's so, so important. So check this out really quick. We're gonna do this with coach's feet facing you guys and his head away from you guys so you can kind of get an idea, right? So this is the arm I want you to focus on. The arm is gonna be right by coach's hip. So I'm underneath, I'm holding on, and I'm right here, you see? Now when coach does it shrimp away, well hey coach, look, you see how my hand follows him? Just stay right there, coach. Because my arm is in the way, coach can't bring his knee in. Now if my arm isn't there, then coach can, yes, perfect. He puts his knee in and then he starts to recover guard. Well, I don't want that to happen. So check this out again. This is how the move is gonna look. Now here, coach starts to move, I follow. Now look, I lift my elbow and I come back in, right? So that's all you're trying to do, guys. So watch, I'm gonna switch positions with coach so you guys can kind of see it again, right? So coach is gonna be on this side. So look at this. Now bottom guy, you don't have to do a huge massive shrimp right now. You can just do a, a small one so your partner can get used to the motion. But I'm here, coach's arm is there, look. All I'm gonna do is move out. His arm follows me, yes. Come back one step, coach. So now, when his arm follows me, guys, it's important that you lift your elbow. When he lifts his elbow, look what it does to my legs. So it turns my legs. Now he can just step right in. Excellent, thank you, Coach. So, guys, that's what we're gonna be practicing now, okay? So, I want you to do that. We're only gonna do that for a couple of minutes, but it's super important. This is that little bitty drill that you can do in a real match that is gonna absolutely wear the other guy out. You let them waste all of their energy, and when you feel them go, huh, that's when you attack. Does that make sense? That's where we go to the next level. All right, guys, so let's do this for about three or four minutes, guys, and then we'll move on. Ready? One, two, three, let's go, guys. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Oh, I think the kids are back. Yes. Sorry, our phone died. No worries. Mine almost died earlier. Good. Good. Got a few more seconds left, guys. You're not shrimping. You're just moving. So you're not shrimping. I did shrimp right there. That's a total All right, guys. Time. So check this out. Now we're going to put everything together, right? Today's a review day, so I want you guys to kind of uh, check all of this out. So watch this. We're going to do all the pieces now. So look at how we're going to do this, right? So we're going to move a little bit, and then we're going to go to the Kimura setup. We're gonna get the Kimura, 
we're going to break the grip on the Kimura. And then the third, the other option, the third option is the one we started with today where I couldn't break the grip, so I go to arm bar. So some of you are going to be able to do the whole thing. Some of you aren't. No worries. Don't worry about it. But check this out. Here's how we're going to start. Coach, let me put you right here, please. Okay. So coach is only going to move like, so let's turn you a little bit so you have long legs. <laughs> so coach is going to move at least two times, right? And then on the third time, I'm going to start it. So this is what it's going to look like. We're going to go nice and slow so you can see. Right? So coach is going to start to move away. I follow. He moves away again. I follow. Now, right here, guys, look. I'm going to lean into coach. He's going to push a little bit right here. I'm going to flare the arm. I'm going to pin it. Right? And he's going to go here. Bend it. I'm going to make my grip. I push myself back. I have him. I step over. The first one that we do, we're going to take his hand right by his belt. He's going to let us do this. So be very kind to your partner since they're letting you uh, submit them, right? You take their thumbs slowly to their head boom, until you get it, all right? Then they're going to grab their belt. So now you're going to keep the elbow tight to your body. Now you're going to turn this way towards their knees to break the grip, and then you do the same thing. Then he's going to grab again, but this time you're going to pretend like you couldn't break it. Uh, uh, couldn't break it. Okay, the leg that's in the back. That's the one that steps over. You pivot, break the grip, arm bar. Guys, that's the entire review. Follow through, pin it, Kimura. Follow through, pin it, Kimura. Oh, he grabs, break the grip, Kimura anyway. He starts to move away, you follow, Kimura. You try to break it, but you can't. So you keep spinning for the arm bar. All right, I'm gonna put everything back on gallery view for just a second to see if we have any questions, guys. How are we doing, are we good? Good. All right, guys, if you have any trouble whatsoever, man, just kind of look at us, raise your hand, and we'll, we'll try to help you from this end. All right, let's do it, ready? One, two, three, go, guys. I'm just moving. I'm moving. Good. I'm going to start with Caden and Sonia. Yeah. So you're, Sonia, you're going to use your right hand to do that job. Your right hand is going to be doing it, not your left. Yeah, because the, the arm that's underneath the head stays with the shoulder pressure on his face so he doesn't get away from you. So you're going to take your right hand, put it on his bicep, and then take that to the ground. Yep. Now straighten it. Now push his palm to the ground. There you go. Now use your head, very nice, good. Now you can take your left, perfect, Sonia, that's exactly right. I'm doing it right. <laughs> now I'm supposed to be on my side, right? Yes. Okay. Good, now that you're there, now you can step over his head with your left leg, keep your right knee on the ground, and step over his head, yeah, there you go. Now, switch your knees for me, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what's going to allow you to lift and then finish the lock right behind his back. Again. Yeah, if he, yep, if he defends, good. Sit back and then take the arm bar. Exactly. Now you grab that. Very nice, very nice. By the way, I had no idea that Friday was short shorts Friday over there. Tell Lottie go, he looks amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go to Heather and Mighty. Let's go, Heather and Mighty. Let's see what you girls can do. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to be trying to do it. Good, 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 Mighty. This <laughs> is supposed to be rolling, you're moving around. Okay. Mighty, that was actually pretty good. Don't worry about it, baby. That was pretty good. 
All right, guys, time. Uh, guys, sadly, we have run out of time, so we need to really quickly go ahead and bow out because we've only got a few minutes before we are starting the next class. So, guys, for those of you guys that joined us on this class today, thank you so much. For those of you guys that want to join us for the next class, it's going to start right at 530. The focus is going to be reviewing the overhook series, the triangle uh, situation from there. So, anyway, um, if you can join us, we'd love to have you. Other than that, guys, let's go ahead and stand up so we can bow out. All right, guys, feet together, hands at your side. Good. And bow. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Bye. Bye, guys. Jeez.